The goal of cataract surgery is to improve vision by removing the cloudy natural lens of the eye and replacing it with a clear artificial lens implant, known as an intraocular lens or IOL. It's important to remember that cataract surgery will not correct vision loss caused by other diseases, such as glaucoma, diabetes, or macular degeneration. If you've decided it's time to have cataract surgery to improve your vision, your ophthalmologist will help you decide which type of IOL to use to replace your cloudy lens. Traditional monofocal IOLs usually provide either near or distance vision. Eyeglasses or contact lenses are used with monofocal IOLs to achieve the appropriate range and sharpness of vision not provided by the monofocal lens. A newer generation of IOLs, known as multifocal and accommodative lenses, can provide for near, intermediate, and distance vision, allowing you to be less dependent on glasses. IOLs that treat astigmatism are called toric IOLs. In addition to toric IOLs, astigmatism can be reduced by glasses, contact lenses, or refractive surgery. There is also a procedure called a limbal relaxing incision. This is a small cut or incision the ophthalmologist makes in your cornea to make its shape more round or symmetrical. This procedure can be done at the same time as the cataract operation or as a separate procedure. Proper IOL selection is based upon sophisticated equipment and computer formulas but it's not an exact science. After your eye heals, its visual power may be different from what was predicted by preoperative testing. You may need to wear glasses or contact lenses after surgery to obtain your best vision. Additional surgeries such as IOL exchange, placement of an additional IOL, limbal relaxing incisions, or refractive laser surgery may be needed if you're not satisfied with your vision after cataract surgery. Risks and complications associated with cataract surgery and lens implantation may include hemorrhage, infection, rupture of the capsule that supports the IOL, glaucoma or increased pressure in the eye, clouding of the cornea, swelling in the macula, the central area of the retina, which usually improves with time, retained pieces of cataract in the eye, which may need to be removed surgically, detachment of the retina, especially a high risk for very nearsighted patients, uncomfortable or painful eye, droopy eyelid, increased astigmatism, double vision, and perforation of the eye from anesthetic injection. These and other complications may occur during cataract surgery and may result in poor vision, total loss of vision, or even loss of the eye in rare situations. Additional surgery may be required to treat these complications. Other factors not necessarily related to the cataract surgery may affect the visual outcome of procedure, including eye diseases such as glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy, and age-related macular degeneration. Having multifocal or accommodative lenses implanted is often not recommended if you have any of these conditions. Also, if you've had refractive surgery previously, such as LASIK or PRK, your ophthalmologist may recommend that you not have these lenses implanted. This is because the ability to calculate the proper power for the IOL is less accurate. Specific complications associated with multifocal IOLs include increased night glare or halos, double or ghost images, and decreased vision due to a lens that is improperly centered. While a multifocal IOL can reduce dependency on glasses, it might result in less sharp vision which may become worse in dim light or fog. A multifocal IOL is likely to cause some visual side effects, such as rings or circles around lights at night. Driving at night may be affected. If you choose a multifocal IOL, it's possible that not all of your eyes near and intermediate focusing ability will be restored after surgery, requiring the use of glasses. If you do a lot of night driving, or if you perform delicate, detailed, up-close work, a monofocal lens used with eyeglasses may be a better choice for you. Possible complications with an accommodative IOL are similar to those with a monofocal IOL. If the lens does not sit well within the eye, it may need to be repositioned surgically. Because the size of the lens is smaller than a standard IOL, there is a possibility of glare or other visual disturbances, especially at night when the pupil is widely dilated. Because these IOLs only absorb a portion of the ultraviolet light entering the eye, sunglasses with UV protection should be worn in daylight. The main risk of toric IOLs is failure to align the lens correctly in the eye 
or subsequent rotation of the IOL resulting in blurred vision. This problem can be corrected by wearing glasses or surgically rotating the lens to the proper axis. The main risks of limbal relaxing incisions are similar to those for cataract surgery, but also include loss of vision, damage to the cornea, and scarring. Also, under or overcorrection could occur. While there can never be a 100% guarantee that cataract surgery will improve your vision, the success rates of cataract surgery procedures are very high. It's important that you're aware of the new IOL options that can help decrease your dependence on glasses. With the lens choices available today, you and your ophthalmologist have a variety of options to consider for your vision needs. Music